people, get ready for Tammy Live, a celebration of life. Tammy Live seeks to inspire, motivate, and uplift as a positive, happy, motivated, energetic person who highlights optimistic energy. Get ready to laugh. Get ready to dance. Get ready to celebrate life with Tammy Live, starting right now. Hello and welcome to Tammy Live. Today, I'm excited about the topic that we're going to talk about because... We've spoken about it before, but from a female's perspective, and today we have a male, and he's going to talk about living single, and his ups and downs, challenges, what he thinks about it, and maybe we'll leave today and little, be a little more educated about it, and maybe a little more non-judgmental about living single. Tammy Live will be right back. You're watching JTV. Welcome back to Tammy Live. Today we're talking about living single from a man's perspective. Now it took me a little while to get the right person for this task, but I think you'll agree that this wonderful gentleman is the kind of guy you want to know more information about. Shevin Dash is here with me. Hi, Shevin. How are you? I am fine, thank you very much. Yes, you're a handsome guy, Shevin. Thank you, thank you, thank very you. Very handsome. And you're living single. Yeah, I mm. am. Why is that? <laughs> Let's just get right to it. That is a question I ask myself almost every day. <laughs> every day? I can't get, I don't know what it is I'm doing wrong or if I'm not doing something right. Mm. In the same sense, it's the same thing. But I'm living single, and it's very complicated. But I guess it's my choice right now, because I'm not in a hurry to get into a relationship. I want to, I want to take my time, right? get to know somebody, but it's tough. Have you seen people, women, that you might be interested in, or no? Yes and no. Okay, yeah. explain. <laughs> the ones I might be interested in are the ones that might give me a wrong look are the ones that might not pay any mind to me. Why? I don't know. I don't know, because you know, we need to delve a little deeper in here, because you know I like to be matchmaker. Oh, yeah. But Match you're, you're a handsome guy, young guy. You don't have any baggage. No. We're going to get into that later, but <laughs> what is it? I don't know what's wrong. I'm trying to figure it out daily. I'm thinking maybe I'm not too aggressive. I'm not aggressive enough. I think you hit the nail on the head yeah. there. You've got to be aggressive. Because I've heard women say that there aren't enough men to go around. That is a lie. Is that a lie? No, it's a lie because uh -huh. there are men out there who are willing to do what a woman might want for herself. But it might not be what she needs. So when she gets this man who's cooking for her and surprising her, doing those little things that she would notice, sometimes that's not what she wants or what she needs out there. She might go and find somebody else who's stressing her out and giving her all sorts of headaches. You think women want that? I think so. Really? I think so because uh -huh. I've, I've seen, I have a lot of female friends and they have guys that stress them out every day. They're cheating on them. They're doing this. They're doing that. They're, it, it's, it's physical between the two of them. But yet still they stay in that relationship chug on, keep going, and there are guys out there that would treat them the way that they would want to be treated or the way that they would expect a man to treat them or a young gentleman mm -hmm. to treat them. But yet still, they stick with this guy who has nothing to offer. They're fighting every two days. They're, I mean, it's just terrible. I've, I, I've seen many relationships like that, and that's... Many, you see? Many, many, many relationships like that. <laughs> and I can't, get, I can't get my mind wrapped around, why are, you, why are you in this? I've asked them, and they're like, oh, because I love him, and really? like this, and I like that. But I'm, I'm thinking, does a woman know what love is? To even say that she loves a man who isn't what she Wanting complains about, and what she does this and does that for, and... She doesn't feel appreciated. She's crying every night. She's doing this. She's doing that. And there are guys out there who, con who are concerned about her, who might actually like her, mm -hmm. 
I might even say that, hey, I like you. I don't understand why you're with this guy. I mean, what's up with that? What's up with that? Why can't we try something? And let they say, no, I don't want to because I don't want to hurt his feelings. But does he think about when he's hurting you? Right, right, right. Another thing you're bringing across to me, because I've heard this before too, and you can help me out here. The nice guy syndrome. Nice guys don't get girls. Is that true? True and not true. Okay. True, mm -hmm. because I'm a nice guy, and I can't get a girl because I'm not aggressive enough. But I blame that on, I don't want to come across in the wrong way. I want to get to know somebody first before I jump into something, and then it's like, whoa, this is not what I was expecting. I thought she was, you know, somebody I can relate to, mm -hmm. someone I can talk to, you know, because after a long, hard day at work, somebody, a guy would want to go home and not talk about work necessarily. She, he liked to know that, yeah, she asked me how my day was. It was tough. I forgot to answer her. But at the same time, I can go to her and just talk about anything, anything that drops out of the sky. Right. I mean, I both came in today, saw somebody. A chicken was wearing something. Something, <laughs> something to make. You can have that conversation. Yeah, something just going. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. You're not finding that. I found it once. Uh -huh. But it left a bad taste in my mouth. Oh, yeah. so you had a bad relationship. A few. A few. Yeah, but I blame it. I wasn't always a nice guy. Oh, I was. The truth is revealed. Yeah, I was a renegade back in my days. Renegade. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I was here, there, everywhere. Oh, my goodness. But then I realized that's not what I want. Mm -hmm. So took my time, met somebody, and it Went took down off. Here. Mm -hmm. It took off, but... At the end of the day, something happened. We lost that connection. Mm -hmm. She still says that, yeah, I, I still I still have that feeling for you, but there's something I don't know what it is. I just... Don't you hate that? That is annoying. Tell me what it is. That is <laughs> the most... I was like, what the hell is wrong? <laughs> that is why some guys just, you know, you just want to hit some of them sometimes. No, we're because, not going to advise. No, we're not going to advise guys. We're not going to advise. You're not going to hate girls, but right. it drives it's you to that point. It's the frustration you're it talking about. It frustrates you. Mm -hmm. It really frustrates you to the sense that something has got to be wrong with you, right. or something has got to be wrong with her. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't come across that way. Have you gotten that? It's not you. It's me. Oh yeah. Ugh. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing with that? Garbage. <laughs> Throw it away. I mean, I know what I'm capable of. Mm -hmm. I know what I can do. I'm not, I'm not Donald Trump. I'm not going to, but I'm going to try and get you there someday. Oh, my. But ambitious guy you are. I think all, all men should be ambitious in trying to make their better half happy, to make them feel satisfied, mm -hmm. to make them feel like if the world ends tomorrow, they had that feeling. Oh, they had that feeling in them. I'm, I'm sentimental, you know. You I, were, I didn't yeah. know that about you, but now I'm getting the feeling. Tell me, though, you said you were running a game before. What made you change? What made you say, you know, this is not what I want? Was there a learning experience for you? What made you make that change in your life? Learning experience? No, it wasn't a learning experience. It was just a feeling I got to myself. I was like, okay, yeah. I'm still young, but yet still, how long am I going to be doing this? How long am I going to have one girl here and not one there? I mean, at some point in time, everybody wants someone to be there who they can trust, who they can get support from, and who they can support. I'm not going to provide for a woman in the sense that I'm not going to give her everything she wants. I'm going to give her what she needs, and at the same time, I'm going to surprise her with things that she would not expect from me. I'm going to make her think that, yeah, he's not listening to me. And there. You're that kind of guy. Yeah. I'm feeling you, Shevin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when we come back from the break, I'm going to ask Shevin, what kind of girl is he looking for? Maybe it's you. Hmm. <laughs> Tell me live. We'll be right back. You're watching JTV. Welcome back to Tell Me Live. I like to have a balanced discussion, but sometimes it's just better, I believe, 
to zone in on one perspective and get another perspective at another time. We're speaking with Shevin Dash. I just love that name. Thank you. Thank and you. now that I've been speaking with you, you're not just a handsome guy. You're a guy with some substance to you. I like to think there's something mixed in there. I think so. <laughs> you talked before at the break. You spoke about what you are going to give a woman, what you, you know, were going to bring to the table. But now I want to know, what does she need to be bringing to the table? What kind of girl, what kind of woman, what kind of young lady, rather, are you looking for? Someone I can trust. Someone if I am going out of town for, going out of town for a few days, I can say, I don't have anything to worry about. I don't want to get a phone call from one of my friends saying, yo, I'm, she's, she's right next to me. Mm -hmm. She's here with another guy. She's doing this, she's doing that. Because I know I'm not going to be doing anything, but I want to have that same secure feeling, knowing that she isn't at home. She can go and party with her friends. She can go, she can enjoy herself. I'm not going to lock her in a cage and say, you stay here. You don't want anything to you stay here. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Right. I'm, I'm going to make, she's going to feel free. So I want to have that feeling that I'm secure. I don't have to worry about this or that or someone calling me. Because that, those are things that I've gone through before. So I don't want, I know what it feel like. I know what it feel like and I don't want to go through that again. Right. Looks matter. Does she have to be top model gorgeous? Does she? She doesn't have to be top model gorgeous. <laughs> right. But men, men see a woman, she has to be, at least for me, she has to be attractive. She's not, she doesn't have to be Tara Banks or she doesn't have to be that. She, just, she can be average looking, smart, has... She can have something to her that... Smart is important? Yeah. Yes? No, smart. for some men it's not so important. But no, for you, smart, you're saying smart it is. is important because mm -hmm. I want to be able to have a conversation about politics or religion. But at the same time, I must be able to get down, talk some foolishness that they won't speak about every day. I want to be able to have that connection. Right. It's not all about the book. She doesn't have to be... Einstein's wife or right, right, right. Well I hope she's not anybody's wife. <laughs> exactly. But right? she can at least know what's going on. She does, I don't want her to know the neighbor business because I don't want neighbor to know my business. Mm -hmm. I'm not about that. You're not a person who will attract a woman who's a gossip person. Oh no. Okay. That is not for you. Not for me. Okay. But she needs to have some facial, nice body. Okay. Body is important to you. Yeah. Okay. No, no, I'll put it out there. No. Because she could be looking. I'm not Seven. saying that the girls out there, every woman is beautiful, but he, she would be beautiful to a different guy. What I help me like, John may like, may not like, or Peter may not like. Good point. So I'm not going to say, yeah, I like that girl. I like that girl. But I don't like that girl. Mm -hmm. I think they're all, but I have my preferences. I know what I'm looking for. Okay. Yeah. Does she have to be someone who is making a lot of money? Are you looking for someone your age, younger than you, older than you? Younger, older, I'm not about numbers. Oh, you're not about numbers? No. That's the kind of guy I like. No, because <laughs> the younger girls, yeah, that's somebody you can start, you know, build a relationship with. <laughs> like I said, start. Yeah, build a relationship <laughs> with. But an older lady, mm -hmm. she knows what she wants. She's already had... She's already gotten to a certain point. She might not be looking on you every two minutes of the day. What are you doing? Talk to me now. Because she has her own life going on. And at the same time, she would understand <laughs> that I have my life going on. I'm working. I'm not at home. Not lazing around. But the younger girls out there, some of them, not all. Right. Some of them. <laughs> right. Some. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bringing off your phone. What are you doing? Talk to me now. Oh, I feel so bored. Sad at this. At that. Needy. Yeah. Mm. I mean, gee, I, I want to break at least once in a while. <laughs> so now we're sitting with older women. With older women? Hey, <laughs> Shevin could be the guy. <laughs> what about baggage? You're 20-something, closer to 30 than... No, not, closer I'm, to I'm not. Okay. Yeah, well, <laughs> you're I'm a young guy. I'm a young guy. <laughs> He's legal, people. Let's just get that out there. Yeah. What baggage? Because if you're saying... You're looking at older women because you don't want to be bothered. Exactly. Baggage. Kids. That's understandable. Divorced woman. I mean, uh, do you have things that you'll say, oh my goodness, no, I can't do with that? No, that's understandable for an older woman's case. But a younger woman, 
I mean, what were you thinking at that age to get a kid in this economical time, how the world is going? I, it's not that easy to look after a kid. I have a nephew. I have nieces, cousins. I know how hard I see my cousins struggle daily to make sure their kid can go to school, get proper schooling. And I'm not saying I'm not ready right now, but I'm not ready right now. Okay, no, because, I think that's an honest, an honest yeah. statement. I'm not ready for a child because some men... <laughs> Oh no, they go. They, they go for do it. what they want to do. They and then they don't take care of responsibilities. You don't want to be that number. No, that statistic. I don't want to be. Which I that. can completely respect. Exactly. Absolutely. Okay, so you you would rather not deal with kids at this time. Not right now. Okay, and you would want someone who is not so needy. So you see, we're getting it together here. Yeah, I mean, some girls may be thinking, "This boy, you know what he's talking about." <laughs> right. But. I've been in relationships. I've seen things. I know certain things. I have a lot of female friends, and I know what they do, what they don't do. Mm -hmm. So I know I have a, sp a perspective on my point of view, how I want to see certain things happen. Okay. So. Do you believe in love? I mean, real movie love. Like, that, you know, those things you see on television, those books you read... Do you believe in that? Because sometimes you ask women and they say, yes, I'm waiting for my knight in shining armor. Do you believe in that real love that you can connect with somebody and just be head over heels, happy like Pappy in love? Yeah. Yes? But you can't wait on it. Okay. You got to go out and look for it. Are you looking? Because you know you're not that no, aggressive there. I'm not that lo I'm looking. <laughs> but for right now, I still, I'm still trying to get certain things balance certain things must be in place before I go into a relationship As, there might be a girl out there who might like me but at the same time I might have other responsibilities and I can't put her at my number one she can't be up there because I have I have to go to work I have to do this I have to do that and she might not understand that mm -hmm. so I'm not saying that love doesn't exist because love exists unconditional love exists you can love a person no matter what they can be with somebody else and you can still have that feeling for them. And it won't go anywhere. That's how you know when you love a person. But to find it, right. it's tricky. Some guys may go out, see a girl to connect. But other times, it takes time. It takes time for you to open your eyes and see that this is a person who I'm willing to give my all for. Right. Yeah. Right. Any advice for that man who's struggling with the dating game right now? Because you talked about giving your all. And I think, you know, when a man gives his all, that's a special something. Yeah. So what do you say to that man who is like you? <laughs> <laughs> struggling a little bit. A little. A little. Yeah. Maybe after this show, you know, you never yeah. know. <laughs> four nine, four nine. <laughs> right? Yeah. What do you say to that person who's struggling a little bit in the dating game? Don't be like me. Don't... Don't sit back and think that you're going to go out there, you're going to see her. If you see her, good for you, but make sure you don't let her get away. You keep going. You keep fighting the good fight. I mean, when you find that person, you, and you know it's that person, don't let something small destroy something as big as that. I mean, a relationship can do so many different things to people that they might not see until it's gone. So... Shevin, for a younger guy, you have such substance to you. Thank you, thank you. And I, listen, l person, lady out there, you're looking at Shevin and you're thinking, oh, just know he's a man with substance. And he's looking for someone who's going to give that oomph to his life. Yeah. Shevin, but I think you need to be a little more aggressive, though, honey. <laughs> yeah. Just a tad Just a bit. tad more. <laughs> but coming on Tammy Live, you never know. You, you never might be know. calling me months from now. I found the one. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on Tabby Life. You're very welcome. Thank you for having me. Of course. Thank I enjoyed talking about you know this whole thing with you, and we're going to talk again. Yes, you will. Yes, we Next will. Next time, it might be, what is it like to be in a relationship? Ah, you never know. Seven, that's my man right yeah. there. Tell me live when we come back, things that make you go, hmm. <laughs> You're watching JTV. Welcome back to Tammy Live. It's now time for things that make you go, hmm. This segment is sponsored by DGLifestyles.com. Things that make you go, 
Hmm. Why is it that some people, when they're dating, they look great? The hair is done, well shaven, clothing fabulous. They step out with a great spunky attitude. But then when they get married, some people stop pepping it up, stop doing their hair, stop putting on the fly clothes, and we let everything hang out. Why is that? Do we feel so comfortable with the person that we're with? We feel like we don't have to look good? People, whenever you step out, you should always look good. Not just for your mate, but for you. Life is about celebration. Life is about stepping out every day, looking and feeling good. So why is it, and you know who you are, why is it that when we get married or we're settled in a relationship, we let everything hang out like, oh, I don't need to get dressed up because I got somebody. No, 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 people. You need to step it up, pep it up, look good every day. Things that make you go, hmm. Ouch. Welcome back to Tammy Live. It's time for Tammy's Highlights. Today we are here at Lime for Living Every Day. And today I wanted to stop by and just talk to you about the iPhone. Right now it's available here at Lime. It's faster, it's better, the pictures are clearer, and the mobile service I hear is second to none here at Lime. So you've got to stop on by Lime and pick up the iPhone until you've got fabulous sales associates that are ready to help you out. I want to stop and pause and give a special big up to Ken Geist. Ouch! You know I love you. The customer service here you provide is just fantastic. So today on Tammy's Highlights, iPhone, hmm, brought to you by Lime for living every day. The iPhone 4 changes everything. You get FaceTime. The iPhone 4 makes video calling a reality. See your friends while you talk to them and make phone calls like you've never seen before. You can multitask, run multiple apps at the same time and switch between them instantly, all without sacrificing performance or battery life. High definition video recording. Now you always have a great high definition video camera with you. Record, edit, and share high definition video right on your iPhone 4. Photography on the iPhone 4 takes a giant leap forward. The 5 megapixel camera includes 5 times the digital zoom, a built in LED flash, and improved low light performance. There are so many little different features right here on the iPhone 4 and coming soon 4G which is going to make this baby go even faster. At Lime, they are here to help you to communicate better, to communicate faster and you've got to stop by Lime today and pick up your iPhone 4. Lime for a living every day. Ouch! You're watching JTV. Ouch! Welcome back to Tammy Live. It's now time for Tammy's Bucket of Happiness. This segment is proudly sponsored by Joma Properties. I just wanted to stop by today and remind you about the Botanic Gardens. In the Virgin Islands, we have so many beautiful places that you can just come, relax, sit and enjoy life and the Botanic Gardens is one of those special treasures that we have here in the Virgin Islands. You can stop and sit, just look at the beauty, just look at what's happening in life and just celebrate all of the beauty that life has to offer. The National Parks Trust keeps the gardens beautiful and so anytime you come here you can take pictures for your wedding, you can come and have showers, I've seen baby showers done here, or you can just walk through and learn something new about the different flowers. The Botanic Gardens is one of my favorite places to be because when I'm here I hear the water, I feel lovely, I feel calm and soothing and it's just one of another place that you can enjoy in the beautiful Virgin Islands. Hmm, Tammy's bucket of happiness every now and then. Stop and literally smell the roses. Ouch! You're watching JTV. Welcome back to Tammy Live. 
I hope you've loved the discussion that we've had today just as much as I have had. When I met Shevin, I didn't know he was that kind of guy. He's just full of substance and, you know, a man who knows what he wants and where he's going. And when we talk about the single life, there are a lot of us married people, people who are in relationships, who are quite judgmental. Why are you single? How come you ain't find nobody yet? What's going on? But I think it's time for us to start sitting back and saying, you know, maybe this person is waiting for the right person. Maybe this person's been through relationships before that haven't been so happy. And they're a little cautious now. And they're hoping to find that love. One of the things I love about Shevin is that he's got a plan. He can say, I don't really want kids right now. I want to just find someone, get to know them. I'm focused on my job. And, you know, sometimes men aren't thinking that. They're thinking, I just want to be with somebody. And it's nice to know that we have a younger, handsome guy who's thinking about doing the right thing, finding that right special someone, and doing nice things for her. I just love love, and I love that Shevin loves that too. So out today, I want to inspire you, those who may be still struggling with living single, to of course focus on yourself and make sure that you're a happy person and you're settled and you're, you know, to just settle financially, but settle in your own mind and your own knowing who you are before you get with someone. But I also want to encourage everyone to believe in love and to know that it is possible, that it does exist, and not to let past relationships hurt so much that you miss that special someone. And as Shevin said, if you're a guy and you meet that special one and you know she's the one, fight for it because it's worth fighting for. Here's to life and the living of it. Tammy Live, just be happy. See you next time. Tammy Live is sponsored by Umi Fashions, Norman Allen Photography, Premier Dentals, DG Lifestyles, and JTV. Wardrobe provided by Umi Fashions.